What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my main account and the Archdemon is going on on iOS. We have the Stuns Target Huge Damage Archdemon, which I did put up 1.1 billion total damage. But today I'm going to change my setup a little bit. I'm going to sub out Gunslinger and go ahead and toss in a Beast Tamer just to see how that works. I'm kind of curious. So let's see. We got Beast Tamer with level 5 slowdown crest set and Axe. We also have the Chicken Boom Pet on him. We have Cupid and the Eye for Accuracy plus a 5 of 5 Revite. We got Trixie Treat with Slow Down as well in the Axe. We got Druid with a level 5 Zerk Crest set in Axe. And we got Pumpkin Duke and Blitz with Slow Down. And then we have Siren with War God and in the Axe. So that is the team we are going to be running. I think we are all set. Let's go ahead and get into battle and see how we do. Let's sub out this Gunslinger, sub in Beast Tamer. Hopefully this puts up a little bit more damage, so we'll see. I'm going to drop, my plan is to drop Trixie Treat, and then before Trixie Treat even engages the boss, I'm going to drop all my other heroes behind Trixie, starting with Beast Tamer, and then go ahead and throw in Vulnerability on, because that's how I like to run this boss. Oh, my hands are sweaty. I to wipe these hands off. Can't be having no misdrop with these fat fingers. All right, let's see here. We'll go ahead and drop Trixie. Let's see, let's let that Archdemon slow down for a second. So we'll drop Trixie right here. We'll go ahead and follow off all the other drops using Vulnerability. And let's see how this works. This is the same drop I used. Actually, let me move my, uh, my webcam. This is the same drop I used on day one. The only difference is I actually did have a 5 Revite on my Trixie Treat. Which I was hoping it wasn't going to be an issue. Which it doesn't look like it is. It looks like I got the full stun lock. Now, the goal and the reason why you want to use Trixie Treat on this uh, huge damage Archdemon is because I'm not exactly sure how many seconds, but it's like every 10 seconds or every 15 seconds, something like that. I'm sure somebody in the comments below will let y'all know. Um, the Archdemon sends out a proc. Wow, why is he moving like that? That is scary. It looks like he's about to kill one of my heroes moving like that. All that slowdown, he just slides in. He's like Michael Jackson. Screw so anyway, getting back to my point, um, he tosses out every 10 or 15 seconds, I don't know how long, some proc that does like a billion damage and it will one-shot any hero, but he does it to the hero with the lowest amount of hit points. Now, here's what's interesting about this. As I was thinking, I was like, oh, okay, he hits the, the hero with the lowest HP. I was like, you know what? I'll just use one of my Blade Knights that are on one of my Archdemon heroes to take that proc. That's what I was thinking at first. And no, that does not work. So you can't use any of those summons, which kind of stinks. But you can use Trixie Treats Pumpkins. And so that's what I'm doing here is I got Trixie Treats Pumpkins in there. And as for overall damage right now, I mean, we got a minute 30 left. Uh, he has 2 billion total life. And it looks like we're probably about 20 or 30 seconds away from Half-Life. So we're probably going to be real close to the damage we had with Gunslinger. Actually, you know what? We might pass it by a, a tad hair. I don't know. We might be coming up on a million closer. Like, real close, actually. This doesn't look too bad. He's already at Half-Life. It looks... Let me see. Is that Half-Life? Because I think my last damage with Gunslinger, honestly, it was 1.1 billion, but I, uh, what was I even going to say? It was 1.1 billion, but something. I don't even know. I'm just over here talking. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely over 1 billion total damage. Oh, my last damage was 1.1 billion total damage. So, I mean, we're probably already past that. We still got 20 seconds left to add in a couple more million. Let's see what we got. Give me some big boy procs, baby. I see some 500,000s up there. See some couple hundred thousands as well. Now, could I change my team up in any way? Ooh, Pumpkin Duke's dead? Ah, oh, that means I gotta use the same drop, man. Why would Pumpkin Duke die right at the end here, you idiot? Still probably gonna beat my damage. Oh, no, I didn't. Wow. Or did I? Oh, I think I might have actually. What was my last damage? My last damage was 1.131, and this damage is 1.182. All right, so he beat the damage by just a hair. Wow. Should I use the same team, or should I try to change something up just a hair to add a little bit more damage? What could I change up to give myself more damage with this comp? 
I just don't know. I don't know what I could do different. There's got to be something I could do different because a lot of other people are putting up big boy numbers and I'm still putting up little boy numbers. All right, let's go ahead and fight it again with this comp. I don't really care. Either way, I don't think I'm going to beat my boy Tenos that's in first place. He has a monstrous score. All right, let's go ahead and drop again. Come on. I'm just waiting for this bad boy to slow down a little bit. All right, I'll drop right here like this. Go ahead and follow. I'm going to let him get a little bit closer this time. That was a little bit sketchier of a drop, but I felt like being sketchy. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a full three-minute stun with Pumpkin Duke fully alive. We got to at least, I mean, three minutes should put me above 1.2. I'm thinking maybe we can get some lucky procs as well. I feel like these guys aren't even attacking this Archdemon right now, though. What is going on? There we go. Finally getting some attacks in. Now, one thing to note is this Archdemon does remove all the buffs from your hero as well, which kind of sucks because you get a couple PD procs, you know what I mean? You get the Cupid proc in there, whatever. And uh, he takes them all away, which sucks. You don't have that extra damage. You don't have that extra speed. You don't have nothing. I see a lot of 500k crits, which is definitely nice. But as you can tell, taking those buffs off. What's that? What's the Archdemon looking like? What are we doing on damage? I feel like we're hardly even attacking him this time compared to last time. Like last time, I felt like we were at almost half damage at like 1 minute and 30 seconds. This time, not even close. Maybe a bad drop on my part? Who knows? <laughs> what a crazy fight this is, man. The Arch Demon is so much tougher these days than it used to be. They definitely added in all kinds of little things here to make it to where players can't get cap damage, which honestly I think is a good thing because if we can get cap damage, it's kind of annoying whenever you get cap damage and don't get the full rewards. It's just whoever attacks the Arch Demon first, you know what I mean, wins the uh, 6,000 fame. But now not being able to do cap damage to them, obviously whoever scores the highest just wins the max fame. Which in this case right now is my boy Tenos. He's got 1.6 billion total damage, which is pretty solid. No doubt about that. Hopefully we can get that PD to survive even throughout the last 15 seconds of the fight this time. That would be nice. And I'm hoping we can beat... I'm hoping we can get higher than 1.2 billion total. It's going to be super close. That Archdemon in my eyes almost looks like he's at half HP. But, again, we're falling behind because last time we were way below half HP already. At least we got a full three minutes done. This actually, if you have Trixie Treat on a free-to-play account as well, I run a full three minutes stun on my free-to-play also. Um, just so you guys know, I think I had 100 million total damage on my free-to-play account. I, what I did was is I dropped Trixie Treat, first, Trixie Treat first, had the same exact drop as this, and none of my heroes even took damage. The Archdemon wasn't even able to attack anything, and everything stayed alive for the full three-minute fight. And I put up, I think, almost 100 million damage. Maybe I had a little bit less than that. I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't look like PD's dying, though. We got PD to stay alive. Let's see if it helps any. Come on, put me above 1.2 billion, boys. Give me some big boy damage. What do we got? Oh, I knew it was a little bit low this time. We just couldn't get any procs off. 1.13, so even lower than last time. It's so random, man. So what does that put us at overall? In 22nd spot, that puts me above Clan MGO, right where I'm supposed to be. That's good. That puts me above my boy Loafed as well. <laughs> 22nd place. Not too bad. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Good luck on that Archdemon. Remember to drop that Trixie Treat first and that Invulnerability right after. Anyway, guys, I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.